Today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate chip tray bake. For the cake you will need 300 grams of self-raising flour, 300 grams of caster sugar, 300 grams of margarine or butter, 5 eggs, 3 tablespoons of cocoa powder, 100 grams of white chocolate chips and 100 grams of milk chocolate chips. Firstly in a bowl add your caster sugar and your margarine or butter and cream until really well combined. Then add your eggs and mix well. Then add your self-raising flour and your cocoa powder and mix really, really well until you've got a nice batter. Then add both your milk chocolate chips and your white chocolate chips and mix until they're well distributed throughout the batter. Then having pre-greased and pre-lined my baking tray, which was 33 centimetres by 23 centimetres uh, and it was six centimetres tall, you just want to add your cake batter, spreading it out evenly. Then bake in a preheated oven at gas mark 5, 190 degrees centigrade or 170 fan assisted for 40 to 45 minutes until when you put a toothpick into the middle of the cake it comes out clean. Then for the icing you will need 200 grams of icing sugar, 2 tablespoons of milk, 2 teaspoons of cocoa powder and some sprinkles. In a bowl to your icing sugar add your cocoa powder and mix until really well combined. Then add your milk and mix until it's all really really well combined and a really smooth paste. Then while your cake is warm but not hot you want to add your icing to the top and just spread it out as evenly as you can. If your cake has cooled down at this point you might want to add a little bit more milk just because I try and do quite a thick icing so then it sets um, but it is quite hard to spread so if you were doing it on a cold cake you might want to add a little bit more milk just to kind of water down the icing slightly to make it easier to spread um, but if your cake is warm it should help it spread evenly and then you'll get that really nice set on the top afterwards. and then just sprinkle all the sprinkles over the top and chop into the size pieces you want. And there you have it. That's how you make a chocolate chip tray bake. 